and at the age of 10, I was bullied. At an age of 16, I was bullied again. Between the six years, I have changed and everything has changed. Especially the way you're flowing and the technology. When I was 10, Apple released iPhone 4 and then 5, 6, 7, 8, skip 9, 10, and 11. And now we're 11. And when they released the fourth, they were given what the nickname called smartphones for having so much information inside that small device. But as the number gets bigger, the size also started getting bigger. So can we still call them smart? Well, I'm not sure about that, but I'm definitely sure that it has helped to make the way of flowing smarter. Because now we're able to send messages and hate without revealing ourselves. Anonymous messaging app. This app has tortured me. My first summer break in high school was destroyed by this app. When I open the app, I see messages like, quit school. I feel like I'm puking when I look at your face. Never to come back to Japan. I had nightmares. I was mentally broken by, broken down by the person that I don't know. But the scariest part is, it has to be someone that I know. That's how I was bullied when I was 16. Now let's look at back at when I was 10. The definition of bullying was throwing punches, throwing strong words towards their face, or hiding notebooks. It was something that can be seen with our own eyes. It was something physical. I had my notebook hidden, and when I found it, some of my pages were scribbled with a black pen. When someone is bullied physically, it is noticeable. Third person can get in the middle to help to stop it. In my case, that's how it ended. But when it's psychologically done, most of the time, people around have difficulty or hard time realizing, or even the bully don't realize that they are bullying because the psychological scars that they make are unnoticeable. It only grows bigger within that bully person. And they try to hide it and look fine on the outside, so it's much more harder for them to ask for help. The scars can't be seen by anyone, nor be healed by others. As the technology develops, there's a shift in the way of bullying, physical to psychological, noticeable to unnoticeable, savable to unsavable. But psychological ones are not the only ones that can be unseen. But also the physical ones are becoming harder to notice because we are losing the ability to observe. We are focusing more and more on the device in front of us. The number of likes we get, the number of views we get. We are addicted to the life inside that social media that it's at the point where it's getting much more difficult for us to realize the things that are happening near us that used to be so easy to be found. We are not noticing the things that we must notice. To tell the truth, I don't have any magic solutions to end bullying. No matter how great the solution is, the bully will find another way to bully. It's an infinite loop. But I just wanted to tell everyone that it exists. Bullying never disappeared. It just got harder to see. Take a moment and put that device down.
and look around. You might be able to find something that could even be found inside that device. And anywhere in the world, at any time of the period, in any forms, bullying exists. Thank you.